What up, Toke Hunters? You guys have been asking for it. So here it is. Just how many Dragon Stones will we be able to obtain between now and the start of the nine year anniversary? It took some time for me to put this together. And given the fact that there's a lot of confusion that still remains on global, this was not an easy feat. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're trying to hit 90,000 subscribers before Golden Week. And it definitely takes a lot of effort to go through all of the nitty gritty details for this. I checked missions, I went through the the corners of the dokoninfo.com space i went through i counted how many days each celebration had and all that stuff so really really did my best here obviously there's going to be a little bit of calculation error anyway but because of all that hopefully you guys enjoy the video make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe i would really really appreciate it now before going into this stuff keep in mind that there are some variables to consider number one full synchro right the biggest elephant in the room is the fact that there is still a full synchro that has to happen so while normally it would be as easy as simply calculating the one-to-one -one celebrations from years past that simply doesn't apply this time because we just have no idea what's going to happen case in point currently we're in the part one of the april celebration block part two is normally a filler banner but is that going to be the same thing this year we have no idea if it is a dokkan festival celebration is it going to be topo is it going to be something entirely different is it going to be tanabata there's there's just no way of knowing what's going to be happening on global until it happens. So I am operating with these calculations under the assumption that nothing changes. Dokkan does the, the least logical thing possible and just keeps everything the same. That's kind of how I base my calculations. So for simplicity's sake, I honestly didn't really want to even consider this celebrations part one or part two, just because I don't know what's going to happen. But I will include what we know in part one. And then I also went ahead and I calculated Golden Week celebration numbers from last year. So I went through the numbers from 2023's Golden Week with the World Tournament Goku and Piccolo. And I put the numbers together for that. Same with the part two, because we don't know what these are going to be yet, right? We have no idea what, what the Goku Day celebration is going to be centered around. Well, we know that's going to be centered around Goku, but like we don't know any of the, the, the details regarding them. We don't know the EZAs, any of that stuff. So I put whatever I could. And then I also included things like super easy. A I included things like maybe there's a new challenge event because now the chain battle is gone. That does create a little void in terms of some of the content, some of the stones that we get. So maybe that comes in and manifests through different ways. So I tried to include things like that. So it's not perfect. Then going to the pre nine year Dokkan festival, I did count, uh, go through the JP Frieza celebration. I did count all those stones because that is ideally what's going to be coming up for global as the pre nine year. But again, we don't know if Topo is going to show up in here. Is it going to show up in during the filler banner? I don't know. And then for the part two, I went back to 2023's Super Boost celebration because this part two is the part two that JP is about to have as their part two to the Topo Dokkan Festival, which we haven't had yet. So because we don't know what that's all about, we don't know the campaign details for that. I can't really, you know, match that to this one. So I'm going under the last year's numbers. So because of all that, this is going to be very, very much approximate and rough. Calculation errors may occur. I always tend to underestimate. I always feel like these approximation videos, it's better to undercount than to oversell. Because if you do oversell, you might be disappointed and you might try to summon on other banners thinking you're getting that much more during the road to the nine year and it might mess you up. So I always like to underestimate to allow for a welcome surprise when we get more. Extra stones not counted. Maybe I missed some stuff. Full synchro confusion. So. Hopefully you guys understand all that. So without further ado, let's jump in here to the current campaign. So the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Harutagon Dokkan Festival has already started. We're about like three or four days into this at this point. So I subtracted four days from the login. Considering we get 25 Dragon Stones for login, I just subtracted four and I made it 21. So there's 21 days left. I think this also factors in part two, to be honest. So this does kind of give us some of part two. And then you multiply it by two because every single day that you log in, you also have a daily mission that will give you a dragon stone. So you can always double this. I used to not include this, but people have said that they wanted it. So I did it. So that's 42 dragon stones. The Dragon Ball story event for Wrath of the Dragon is coming up. I counted. We get 15 dragon stones for that. The 50% supports Extreme Z area gives us another 15 dragon stones. The movie edition Extreme Z area, the one where they brought together the three separate Extreme Z areas blocks, they put them all together. That's another free 40 dragon stones for us because it's been created into a new event all of those stages are now available to run through again even if you've already done those easy a's you can run through them again and that will give you another 39 dragon stones so that's easy money right there the final chain battle rip to the goat 
that gives us another 20. So all in all, with not everything considered, maybe I'm missing a couple things. This puts our total for the current campaign at 131. So if we want to include that, we can. If we don't, that's fine. I didn't put the Red Zone Movie 2 in here. The reason for that is two things. Number one, it may not even happen during this celebration. It might end up happening closer to the nine year anniversary. And also I am going to count whatever is available from that Red Zone Movie Edition 2 in the nine year anniversary countdown section further down below. Wherever it ends up dropping, we will eventually get all of those stages. So I will count them, just not here. So this total currently is set at 131. So then after this, I go into Golden Week. So Golden Week is based on the 2023 information. So this is broken down between part one, part two, and also the Goku Day stuff because Goku Day does happen during this whole thing. So we are currently right here, okay? So looking at the Goku, or no, the Golden Week celebration. So I just went through all of this. It was very annoying, but because like when you're going through the missions, all I can do is look for this image in dokkaninfo.com and the missions are not archived and listed chronologically. So I had to painstakingly go through like every single page to find this. It was so annoying. So yeah, um, this one is 33 times two plus 33. So what I just said was you get a certain amount of stones for logins and then you basically double that. But the thing here is that during this login last year, you got two dragon stones per day. So I'm assuming that this golden week will probably apply in the same way. That's why it's basically 33 dragon stones times three, bringing our total just from logins to basically 100 dragon stones, which is pretty cool. Missions gave us eight. New Dokkan events give us two, uh, four because two new Dokkan fests, right? Golden Week always gives you dual Dokkan festival. Boss Rush gave us 35. Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road. New story events. So in this campaign, there wasn't a new story event, but just because I kind of feel like there would be because Chain Battle is gone. That's kind of why I decided to include a new story event. But we could have, we, I mean, we, we can remove this if we want. That's why I put an asterisk there because it's not exactly a part of it, but I'm kind of throwing it in there. Same with the Super Easy A down here. So I'm going, I'm just going to go ahead and add this 20. Clash gives us 31. Dokkan Festival Easy A gave us 34. What was the Easy A last year? It was Piccolo. That's right. Okay. So that one, the Super Weekend bonus, that's basically seven Dragon Stones per weekend times three. That's 21. A challenge event, I kind of just threw in an arbitrary number, 10. I don't know because you know this is this is not there maybe they give us you know some some new event and if it's not if we don't get a challenge event at all then maybe these 10 dragon stones will manifest through some other way maybe top grossing or something like that i don't know so we could also remove this but don't worry at the end of this i will be rounding down my total super easy a, i really feel like there's going to be a super easy a during golden week that's just a home run for you know both versions to get another super easy a so i'm gonna go ahead and count that we did get a thank you rewards bonus for the Golden Week celebration, which is basically JP's top grossing. Global got a thank you. So all in all, part one of Golden Week gave us over 300 Dragon Stones, which was a welcome surprise. I, I found myself typically underestimating how much we get. And lately when people have been asking me too, am I good? How many stones do I get leading up to nine year? I can never really accurately answer because I've just convinced myself that we barely get any, but this is actually a lot. It's 300 Dragon Stones for I mean for one part that's really good then going into Goku days so I went through and I counted everything in the Goku day campaign there was a login that they even said explicitly will give 42 dragon stones missions seven dragon stones training events includes like the what is it the daily Goku getting meat event hyper training hyperbolic training with Goku something or other so those I all counted that gives us 53 and then going into part two that was the Bulma portion of the celebration so I counted everything in here granted there wasn't a whole lot and I was surprised that there wasn't an, an easy a down here so you know things like that could occur maybe it does maybe it doesn't especially considering we don't have any more super strikes to take care of because I believe the final super strike event renewal is going to happen during the Frieza celebration I believe chilled is the last one so these Super Strike event renewals no longer give us Dragon Stones. These were a source of 20 Dragon Stones per. That's not a thing anymore. So yeah, Infinite Dragon Ball History gives us like around 30, 27, 28, 30. Easy Area gives us six. Burst Mode, that will always be there. That gives us nine. We didn't have a Burst Mode in the first part though. Legendary Goku Event Missions gave us 20. Dragon Ball Story Event, 26. Support Memory, Busto, seven. ESBR, eight. 
LREZA. So I threw this in there because I feel like there should be one, given that there's no more Super Strike Event Renewal. So we can include that. We don't have to. It's up to you. But that brings us total to 137. So that's a lot of stonage just from Golden Week. So even if you don't count the current celebration or anything afterwards, we know that Golden Week alone will be giving us a ton of stones. In fact, 313 plus 53, that's 366. 366 plus 137. So that's uh, over 500 Dragonstone. All right. Moving on now to the pre nine year Dokkan Festival celebration. So at this point, we are talking about the Frieza. Will Frieza be the final Dokkan Festival on Global? No idea. We're going to go ahead and assume that it is. So if it is, then, well, I mean, it will eventually be in there. Will this be the only one, though? Will Part 2 be an LR or will it be a Dokkan Festival? I don't know. But let's just assume that Frieza is the final Dokkan Festival. So I went through those campaign details. I had to pull up the JP side. So pulled up all the login stuff, pulled up the special missions. So all of those turned out. 26 dragon stones for login, 13 from the login itself times two, obviously. Missions gave us 11. New Dokkan event gives us two. New story event gives us 15. The story event is the Kid Goku raiding the Red Ribbon Army Tower, right? Yeah, that's the one. That's pretty cool. We have a new clash that gives us 31. Special Whis event gives you two dragon stones. Dokkan Festival EZA, that is for the Bardock EZA, Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road. This is the Chilled Super Strike event renewal. This is the only time you'll see that. Clash again. Uh-oh. Did I count Clash twice? Yep. I counted Clash twice. Hang on. Flag on the play. See what I mean? Calculations can be screwy sometimes. So, uh, Peton Battle, 11. Bardock Easy Area, 7. Bardock Missions, 10. Factored in everything that I could because there is like a whole Bardock campaign in here. So I went through, I checked the, the event, the extremes, the area, checked the campaign missions, all that stuff. So factoring all of that, part one of the pre nine year Dokkan festival gives us 183 dragon stones. Used to be 214 that I subtracted the, the duplicate clash. My bad. So then part two is based on super boo from last year because we just don't know. So it, it is a little wonky. It is a little weird. I will admit. Also, where is that? Here it is. It is a little bit weird, but you know, we're just going to go with it. And also, I can't I can't account for things like this RNG logins. You know, if you get lucky and you're getting that ultra super lucky, like seven stones daily, I can't I can't account for that. So if you get lucky, great, but I'm not going to include that. So 17 days times two. So that's 34 missions gives us 12 Dragon Ball story event gave us 18. So back during the celebration, that was the fearsome Ginyu force that was turned into the Dragon Ball story event. We have to wait and see what's going to happen for JP. Maybe part two for the Topo celebration is tournament of power themed. So maybe they end up turning one of the tournament of power story events because there's like five of them. They turn it into a Dragon Ball story event. That should be pretty cool. So that would reset the event, give us more stones and maybe some TURs and easy A's too. So if all that happens, then we would benefit from that greatly. Pets on battle, 11 Dragon Stones. World tournament, 50 Dragon Stones. World tournament, this is the only one that shows the world tournament. I think global is still like three world tournaments behind. So for all we know, World Tournament could appear more often than not. Maybe we get an extra World Tournament during Golden Week that JP doesn't get. Maybe we get an extra World Tournament during the filler celebration in Part 2 of the current campaign. I'm not accounting for any of that. And is that it for the Part 2 for pre-9 year? It's SBR. Okay, so then that brings the total to 131. So at this point, I wanted to leave it at, at then and there, but then I figured, you know what? Let's also include the 9-year anniversary countdown. That way we can also include the movie edition to Red Zone. So then we get to the nine year anniversary countdown. So it's 10 Dragon Stones plus seven. The reason why it's 10 is because during those final seven days, you're getting one Dragon Stone, one, 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 one. Then it goes to like two and three. So altogether that counts as 10 Dragon Stones across seven days. And then of course, seven days, which means seven daily missions. So that's 17 Dragon Stones just based on login. Although there might be a little overlap there because those daily missions would come from this. So actually, I am going to go ahead and not include that because we would be double counting and that is committing fraud. And I am no fraud. Clearly I am though. So you know what? Hang on a second. Anyway, LR EZA, the autonomous ultra instinct. EZA does take place during this celebration along with Excite Bike, Excite Battle, damn it and the comeback campaign. So we account for all of those different things. Comeback campaign, 10 Dragonstones. Excite Battle, 17 Dragonstones. Red Zone Movie 2 
stages one through five is how much we are able to get done before the nine year anniversary begins. I went through the missions, looked at the timestamps. That's how much they did. If that ends up playing out the same way, which I imagine it would, we would get these 35 dragon stones, which brings the total to 105. So accounting for all of these different celebrations that we have that remains, not knowing if Tanabata is going to be compressed in there as well, or any other Dokkan festival, if everything were to go according to how things have played out in the previous years, all of these different campaigns add up to 1,053, which I am now going to round down. Always underestimate. So I'm going to go ahead and round this down to 950 Dragon Stones. I think that's a safe thing to do, considering that, you know, I, I took the liberty of including several events that were never there in the previous celebrations that I looked at, like an LR EZA during the part two for Golden Week. Super easy. Are we going to get one? A new challenge event? Are we ever going to get one? New Dragon Ball story event? That sort of thing. I don't know. So I'm just going to subtract all of that stuff, remove 100 Dragon Stones from this, and that brings your total to 950, which is basically 1,000. So between now and nine year anniversary, you guys still have a ton of stones to obtain, but it doesn't just involve you logging in. You have to partake in every single event that is available. You got to do all the daily missions. You got to be on top of the Dokkan grind. And I will do my best to help you guys out and remind you. And we will be doing more videos like this as the, as the days go by so that you guys can be aware of how much is still left on the table because this is still a lot. And then when you consider the fact that nine year anniversary itself will give you over, you know, around a thousand dragon stones or more, and then worldwide download will give you a thousand stones or more. There's a lot of stones up for grabs. And the more you save, the more prepared you will be for not only Beast Gohan, but worldwide download, which is going to be bonkers. And then less than a year later, six, less than six months later, Global is going to jump into the 10 year anniversary. There is so much hype coming up. Y'all cannot afford to be wasting these stones on other things. You got to save it. This may seem like a lot, but before you know it, you're going to spend these in like five seconds when you see all the units and all the hype that's coming up. 10 year anniversary is going to make Beast Gohan look like a joke. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That's it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments if you were to add 950 Dragon Stones to your stone total right now, what does that bring your stone total to? Are you going to be summoning on any celebration outside of 9 year anniversary? Are you summoning on Golden Week or anything else? Let me know your thoughts overall in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more new content of the future and click the notification bell so that you'll let you know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll to Dokkan responsibly.